thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Sure. Um, this is an incredibly, congratulations, it's an incredibly uplifting, beautiful movie. Oh. Um, I was wanted to start, and what made you say yes to the project? Was it the script? Was it the story? Yeah, you know, mainly it was the script and the story, but I, what I loved about the story uh, was the relationships and uh, taking a group that we normally don't see on film and uh, showing that humanity and how they're connected in their community. Um, I was really excited to uh, be a part of that and to uh, to have that shown. Um, and I think it's really, really important. But there, the other reasons for wanting to do the movie, uh, Woody Harrelson is a, a friend. We did The Cowboy way back, uh, I don't know, 25 or so years back. And um, and I love, I'm a big fan of Woody. I love his work. I love, there's um, a genuineness um, that comes through. You know, he's really a sweet guy. And even when he's playing the bad guy, there's something, I just, I just I'm, I'm a fan of his. And also Cheech Marin, we had worked together years ago and uh, and I just love him. Um, you know, he, um, you know, I, I always call him the old man, but actually I think I'm probably older than him, <laughs> but, uh, but he just seems like the great dad to me. Um, and so working with, and Bobby Farley, I just, um, you know, had never worked with, but know his work. So it was a great group of people that I wanted to be a part of, but more importantly, I just wanted to show or have the story, uh, seen at a time when it feels like there's so many movies about war and fighting and killing and you know the earth rotting and turning bad and we're all in some pandemic that's killed turned everybody into zombies so uh just to uh to show these kids i did a movie um i don't know 30 years ago uh, called the hand of rocks the cradle mm -hmm. and uh i played a, a, a character who's mentally disabled but um there weren't a lot of movies, uh, you know, and in families, uh, when I researched the character, uh, there were a lot of families who had family members who they had sort of hidden away and nobody talked about. And thankfully that's changing. And, um, and I was so happy that this movie uh, gives us a chance to see into that world and also them a chance to show what they're capable of doing. Uh, I think some of these kids hopefully will have a, a good career in acting uh, and we'll continue to um, to just show how amazing they are. Amazing. You just touched upon a, uh, one of my questions, which is those relative newcomers to acting, and you've been yeah. doing this for so long. Did you give them any guidance when um, when they came on onto the set? Were you were you there to, as like a kind of figure for them? Well, you hope so. You hope people you know get inspired because they saw you in some movie when they were a little kid. You know, Ghostbusters has been around for forty years and. Um, you know, a lot of things that I've done now, I look back, it's, it's been a number of years. And so they have seen different things. Um, but I think in terms of guidance, I think the, the biggest thing is uh, just encouraging them to just bring themselves, you know. I mean, it's one thing to learn the lines and learn the blocking, but if you can bring that, because that's the most important thing. And I think Woody uh, Harrelson was really good at that uh, when we weren't shooting He'd be out playing basketball with them, you know, he really goofing off with them, joking with them. And I think it and that kind of gave them permission to to not doubt themselves, to just, uh, yeah, to just, you know, bring and just have fun with it. And uh, and I think that's probably the biggest the biggest lesson. Um, you know, I, I, nobody really um, was sort of asking uh, advice for me. The young man who played Darius, who I, I got to know a little bit. Uh, it was interesting really spending time with him because he reminded me so much of one of my kids. But I think um, I think probably the, the biggest encouragement for acting or anything is when you you see people who you've seen over the years and then you look at them and say, wait a minute, if that guy can do it, I know I can. So so you just want to, yeah, just be there to say, yeah, you can do this. You got it. And uh, and have fun. And. And I think that's kind of what happened. You know, it's a, it's a strange profession, you know, that uh, <laughs> that I do. Yeah, because I was, was going to ask on the flip side of that, was there anything that you learned through this experience? Anything new about your your? Acting? Yeah, you know, I think probably I, I've always admired actors. You know, when I, I first started out, um, I love to watch how people 
you know, what their process is. Like I said, watching Woody and how he kind of, um, I've seen, you know, so watching people and I think working with the kids that once they kind of relax and just began to have fun with it. And I think that's what comes through. And it's sort of a reminder that that's kind of what it's about, you know, and, um, you know, uh, I, yeah, I think if, if whatever helps you to let go of fear. And so you look around and, and, and it's just kind of, it reminds me that, oh yeah, I, I always need to remember that. So they were very, very helpful. And, and, um, and I think relationships, because that character I played, it really was about friendship, it was about relationships with people. Uh, I hear a lot of people say, you know, they had a good friend, but they had to cut them loose and they don't want to do with them anymore. And I think friendship is just real friendship. It goes a little deeper. I have mm -hmm. sometimes had to say to friends, you know what, I'll be over here, uh, but I'm not going down that road. But if you won't have trouble finding me if you need me. But uh, but I think to, to, you know, the character that I, I played to really care enough to look out for Marcus, even after he did what he's done, mm -hmm. you know, kind of goof up a bit. Um, that, um, yeah, that says a lot. And when you, you, when you work on a character, I think the lessons that the character learns are, you know, apply to your own life, you know, makes you sort of visit that and, and, you know, uh, rethink certain things and kind of go, yeah, you know, so, uh, it was, um, it was a learning experience being, uh, being a part of that, you know. Absolutely. And what I love about your character, Phil, is his humanistic and gentle approach to coaching his teams. Was yeah. there anyone in real life that you sort of drew inspiration from? Any coaches that you were looking looking towards? Or Yeah, I um, well, I didn't play, uh, you know, team sports. I played in school because, you, you know, and uh, I was always actually very good at it. Um, I did. I did boxing. I, I, I boxed for uh, a little while when I was uh, in my teens. Um, but, um, uh, I, I think it, it, I grew up in this very religious, um, you know, my grandmother who raised me was very, very religious in, in this church. And there was a, a man there who was kind of like a coach. He sort of, the kids, everybody kind of looked up to this guy. His name was, um, uh, Cole. I don't even know what his first name was, brother Cole. <laughs> and, uh, and he was kind of a, a mentor, you know, he didn't really, talk a lot but I would watch him and I watched how he everybody kind of respected him the members of the church the kids and even on the street the little gangsters you know when he walked by they would kind of out of respect and it wasn't that he had a title or anything it's just the way he kind of carried himself um and he would just drop little pearls of wisdom never say do this or don't do that he would just say well you might want to think about it. and he'd say something that um uh, I remember um, years and years ago, I was very angry over the fact that my grandmother would clean the church every Sunday and we didn't get paid for it. And she was really too old and nobody would help her. And I'm like, I'm so sick of this. And um, and he just happened to be walking by and saw me sitting there. And I kind of told him all the things I was upset about. And then he said, uh, he said, well, son, he said, you know, do it anyway. Because the Lord will bless you. <laughs> and I've heard that the Lord will bless you my whole life, but something about it coming from him. And so I went back and I continued to clean the church for years. But um, his, um, you know, I think for maybe the first half of my life, it was the Lord will bless you was the message I got from that. But as I got older, I realized that to do it anyway, because there's sometimes there are things that, you know, it has to be done. And mm -hmm. And the blessing is doing it. So, uh, but I can still hear his voice uh, in my head. But he was kind of that way, and um, you know, he he was was the kind of guy who wouldn't walk away from a friend, even if you screwed up, you know. Um, so, um, and confident enough to have your your assistant coach attack you on camera, and you still go, you know what. Um, I'm, I'm still going to be your friend. And, you know, when you get it together, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be here. So that was very, very special to me.
Amazing. What a beautiful answer and a really great performance. Um, that's all I have time for, but thank you so much for talking with me today and congratulations again on this great film and wonderful performance. Thank you so much. Great talking to you. Have a great day. <laughs> you too. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.